On the third day, a wedding took place at Cana in Galilee. Jesus' mother was there, and Jesus and his disciples had also been invited to the wedding. When the wine was gone, Jesus' mother said to him, They have no more wine. Oh, no. Pastor Wendy, okay. Oh, no. They have no more wine. I didn't think that mattered to you. I, no, I'm not talking about this wedding. It's just when you said the wedding at Cana, it made me start thinking about Carrie's and Luke's wedding at St. Mark's this weekend. And then I realized, I thought I had everything together and everything was lining up perfectly. And I realized that I forgot the wedding gift. Okay. It's okay. Just take a deep breath. I know. It'll all come together after it's all said no, and no, done. No, no, no. No, no, let me finish. After it's all said and done, we'll go get a gift for them they'll understand you, you can't you don't understand you have to come to the wedding with a gift you don't just get it later we need to have a gift with us why not why can't you come to the wedding without a gift knowing that the gift is all about giving i know but it's just proper it's just what you do you bring a gift that's what i was always taught and trained and that's what i need to do uh, okay pastor wendy i think i think our scripture gives us a good response you know, Mary's worried about the same thing. She's worried that here she's at this wedding, probably somebody she knows because of all the hospitality in their day, and there's no more wine left, which is a major faux pas. I think you're worrying a little bit like Mary does here. Well, you sound a little bit like Jesus, who doesn't seem to really want to worry about the traditions and what's proper. Well, yeah, I guess I do sound a little like Jesus in this regard but then what's the good news in it well i guess jesus does listen to mary well and yeah. he she can go to him and he hears her and even though it's not maybe what really matters it matters to her and so it matters to him and he helps her well and and it's probably good news for mary that the true gift that's being given to them is that jesus is in their midst absolutely and they're able to see it better when they don't have to worry about all these proper things that they're not following. Mm. Well, this we can come join us and be part of uh, that gift that always gives. It's the presence that God is in our midst. Worship with us at All Shepherds Lutheran Church and St. Mark's Lutheran Church this Sunday as we hear that gift shared with us all. Yeah, and remember that God cares for each and every one of us and cares for the worries and concerns, and we can always go to God, and God hears our cries, and God always responds.